Hey, what's going on, NFL fans and Atlanta Falcon fans? It's your boy Antoine Smithy Smith, Smithy Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down, man. Y'all know I do it. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell to get my videos as soon as I drop them. Press that like button, man, to help me get my recommendations up to get my videos through the YouTube universe. Greatly appreciate y'all as always. But the Falcons have made another signing. Kyle Hinton, former of the Minnesota Vikings. Falcons signed him to a reserve futures contract. And it's no surprise, man. I think they're going to keep adding pieces to that offensive line until they pick someone to get that left guard position. Uh, Elijah Wilkinson played very well this year. But injuries nagged him through the second half of the season. He missed a lot of time. Uh, so, that thing, to me, that leaves us still a question mark. They have a good amount of guards on the roster. You know Chris Lynch, the pro bowler, all pro. Um, but after him, what do they really have? You have Matt Hennessy, uh, you have Chris Dom who can also switch over to guard if need be, Elijah Wilkinson, um, Ryan Newzell, uh, who's also the center. He's versatile. Colby Gossett, uh, who they got from, as a free agent, uh, formerly with Cleveland back in the day. And you have your guy, everybody's guy, Jalen Mayfield. Um, so, they don't really have a clear-cut guard, left guard. So, why not keep adding talent? You have a good coaching staff. Uh, Coach Letford, he's done his thing, man. He's turned his offensive line around. They passed block better this year. The run block, it was damn sure good because they finished top five in Russia. So, uh, let's be real. I think Kyle Hinton has a great opportunity to make this team. He's another one of those versatile players coming out of Washburn. Uh, the knock on, well, not the knock, but the skill on him well, he was raw, athletic, powerful, strong. And what's crazy, he played left tackle in college at six foot two. So uh, that's pretty, you know, <laughs> astonishing in itself because six two is usually a guard size or maybe a center. And to be honest, he can play both of those too. He can play guard and center. So he's one of those versatile, flexible guys uh, that probably has a chance uh, if he can work his way through the off the off-season program, work with the coaches, and they can see what he can do. Because, uh, like I said, there's no clear-cut favorite. So, the job is up in the air, so it could be his for taking. He only played in two games with the Vikings. He spent most of his first three seasons in the NFL on the practice squad. And um, maybe, you know, that helped him a lot, too, you know, to get what's going. And um, he works well in his own blocking scheme. Uh, some on his size, 6'2", 3'15", uh, with raw strength and athleticism. That's zone blocking all day. Get to that second level, draws, pulls, all that good stuff. So uh, we'll see how it works, man. But Kyle Hinton uh, from Washburn University, former of the Minnesota Vikings, first three years in the league, was drafted in the seventh round, um, signs a futures contract with the Atlanta Falcons. But y'all tell me what y'all think, man, by dropping those comments in the comment box, man. Y'all know how we do it on the sports machine. Let's debate. Let's have fun. It's your boy Antoine Smith Smith signing off. I will holler at y'all later, man. Peace.